superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken and we live again. Defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. Previously on gargoyles. <laughs> Give him the eye of Odin. Souvenirs. I'm personally going to ensure that the Phoenix Gate and the Eye of Odin are never used again. Ooh, how come it got so cold all of a sudden? Ah, ah. Believe it or not, we've hit ice. I believe it. At least we can walk to shore. We never got to see ice or snow on Avalon. It's enough to take your breath away. I can vouch for that. Welcome to Norway. These days, we don't get to see many gargoyles up here in the Norse country. You know us? Let's just say I am well versed in matters of myth and legend. I see the maiden is in dire need of warm clothing. She is welcome to this. Provided you are amenable to a fair trade. What do you want in trade? Something I need that you have no intention of using. The coat is hers if you give me the Eye of Odin. No! You can't do it, Goliath. It's too dangerous for anyone to have. Unfortunate, but true. I cannot consent to such a trade. Perhaps something else might... You will live to regret that decision. But given the frigid temperature... She will not. Wait! Who are you? This isn't your fault, Goliath. It is not a matter of fault, but of responsibility. It is my duty to protect you. Today was your best game yet, Gunther. You were the star of your team. Well, you're a great teacher, Papa. Who was that? Hold on, son! Good breaks, Papa. Let's hope we have enough traction to back up, huh? Where did you come from? That's a long story. My name's Elisa Maza. I'm... Tell me later. Let's get you in out of the cold. I'm Eric Sturluson. This is my son, Gunther. Our farm is just up the road. You're an American. Looks like she's in good hands. What do we do? We stay close. Elisa will probably need some time to recover. At least a day. We'll have to find a hiding place in the woods. Now that we know Elisa is all right, we can rest in peace. Papa? Her story doesn't make sense. If Elisa was out hiking when the storm came up, 
Why wasn't she wearing a parka? Do not pry, son. When she wants to tell us what really happened, she will. How do you suppose that old man knew you were carrying the Eye of Odin? I do not know. But I do know what happened when the Archmage and Fox donned the Eye. Both of them manifested their inner selves and transformed into fearsome menaces beyond anyone's control. Such power is far too dangerous for anyone to tamper with. He hears something. What is it, Bronx? that big just disappear? That was no ordinary bear. It had one eye just like the old man. I think they were one and the same. Whoever is vying with me for the eye of Odin is capable of sorcery. Do you think he will try again? Without question. That is why we need to get to Elisa and get out of here, quickly. <laughs> you certainly you won't miss this sweater. <laughs> Please take it. I am rich in sweaters. Get down! I've come for you, maiden. Then try and catch me. <laughs> it's him again. He's got Elisa. Hear me, gargoyle. This is Odin who speaks to you. I tried barter and I tried fair combat. You have left me no choice. Return my eye or forfeit the maiden's life. Odin. Odin himself is my enemy. If you turn over the eye, Odin becomes powerful enough to destroy us. But if you don't... Make your choice, Gargoyle. Goliath, don't do it! Don't let him have it! Quiet, wench! I am not the most patient of gods. Father... for a change in strategy. Lightly this time, Odin. The eye is mine now. Threaten any of these people again, and the next time I will not be so generous. This isn't over! Oh, Elisa. The sun. The most glorious sun. I've dreamed of feeling its golden warmth. You're not turning to stone. I am no longer subject to that restriction. The eye has granted amazing powers, the extent of which I do not fully comprehend. Is it safe? This form 
is but a powerful manifestation of my inner self. If you trust me, we should be fine. You know I trust you, but maybe you should take the eye off now. A long day lies ahead. I wouldn't be able to protect all of you if I turned to stone. I guess you have a point. Papa? Elisa, will you please explain what... You have nothing more to fear, friend. I shall permit no harm to befall you or your son. I'll make sure Odin is nowhere in the vicinity. In the meantime, perhaps you'd better bring your friends up to date. Um, so... <laughs> Where should I start? From all you've told us about these amazing gargoyle creatures, it sounds like we're in good hands with your Goliath. We've been through a lot together, and he hasn't let me down yet. Look, Papa, another storm is starting up. Bad news, I'm afraid. This is Odin venting his rage. And he's only just begun. Your farmhouse will not withstand the fury to come. I cannot ensure your protection here. 30 kilometers to the north. There's a cave where I sometimes take Gunther exploring. It's large enough for all of us. A cave? Yes. A cave would be ideal. Pack your essentials. What about Angela and Brox? We will pack them too. Sleipnir. That's what Odin calls his battle stallion. We read all about the Norse gods in school, and the storm god Odin was their warrior king. I always assumed Odin was just a myth. It's still difficult to accept him as a reality. I know what you mean. I used to think gargoyles were just glorified rain spells. The sun's almost down, Eric. You better pull over. Now this I want to see. <laughs> It'll be hard to miss. Hi, you must be Angela. Uh, yes, I am. Odin's attacking again! Eric, how much further to your cave? Just around the next bend. I'll make sure the way is clear of danger. The rest of you stay here. Whatever you say, Goliath. I see he's still wearing the eye. Yeah, well, I guess Odin's still a threat. Everything looks secure. After you're all inside, I'll fortify the area. He has a one-track mind, doesn't he? <laughs> like I told you, gargoyles are born to protect. You'll be safe here from Odin's tantrums. How long do you figure we'll have to lay low, Goliath? Take a look, everyone. The storm has passed. Maybe Odin's given up already. It's far more likely he's just biding his time before the next tempest. Gunther. Help the others unpack. I'll see what I can do about finding an adequate door. Looks like Odin's at it again. Or is he? As I feared, Odin has unleashed... Is there a problem? You're the problem, Goliath. We know you created the storms. It's true. I used the storms to motivate you into this cave. Why? For your own safety. 
As long as Odin remains at large, you are all at serious risk. I must engage Odin in battle and destroy him utterly. Only then will it be safe for any of you to emerge. This doesn't sound like you. It's the eye. The eye has gone to your head. The eye has simply made me a better protector. That is all you need to know. Goliath, wait! Ugh. This isn't protection. It's... it's imprisonment. Your Goliath is a tyrant. Oh. Trust me, Eric. This isn't our Goliath. I know you're still out there, old man. I say we settle the score here and now. Very well, Gargoyle. Odin accepts your challenge. I'm too fast for you, old man. We shall see. Return what is mine, Gargoyle, and we can end this senseless strife. Why should I want the battle to end? an inch. You think I haven't noticed that? No wonder you've been pacing yourself. Without your eye, you're not what you used to be. What I lack in strength, I have more than gained in wisdom. Then have the wisdom to yield. Now that I know the eye enables me to absorb your powers, your defeat is certain. I did not draw your craft to this land to suffer defeat. You were on my turf, monster, in possession of my property. In possession of your power. Never again will you threaten those I care about. I am not the threat. <laughs> Your day has come and gone, Odin. We shall see. It's no use, Elisa. Nothing is happening. Don't give up. Everyone, give it everything you've got. Is it just me, or did that feel like progress? <laughs> You know what we have to do. Yes. How frustrating for you, old man, to be so close to death and rejuvenation at the same time. Goliath, listen to yourself. You've become a monster. It's the eye. You've become possessed by the eye, just like Fox and the Archmage. This is what you offer in exchange for my protection? Disobedience? What you're doing now isn't for our protection. It's for the eye. The eye has corrupted you. <laughs> you have betrayed me too, little one. <sighs> Very well. My protection is withdrawn. It is my wrath you must face now. Now, where were we? The fissure is closing, Brox, Angela, move! Help! Help me, Father! Please, protect me! Angela, what have I become? You took quite a chance. <laughs> Wish I thought of it. It 
it's about time you came around. But is he himself again? Jalapeno, do I have a headache? <laughs> That's our Goliath. The eye. Where is the eye? Where it always belonged, Gargoyle, with the original owner. I apologize for any trouble I caused in my efforts to reclaim it. It seems I am out of practice dealing directly with mortals. <laughs> I owe you an apology as well. It seems I am unaccustomed to dealing with a god or being one. Then we have all gained rare enlightenment this night. The eye's standard gift. Onward, Slepnir!